Okay, this is a film I've had sitting in my review pile for far too long, like two days even, and now it's time to tear this overrated piece of shit a new one. Aladdin. Oh man, what the hell is even with this movie? What was the budget on this thing? Five bucks? And you know, never has such a lovely DVD transfer been seen before. Wait, that footage seemed kinda off. Let's try that again. Aladdin. Oh man, what the hell is even with this movie? What was the budget on this thing? Five bucks? And you know, never has such a lovely DVD transfer been seen before. So, let's get into Aladdin. Hello, I'm Captain Explain Pants. I'm here to tell you what the joke was. You see, Phyllis Doofy just said he was reviewing a lot and people would think it was the Disney movie he was taking a look at. But instead, he just got some cheap DVD of a cartoon also called Aladdin. And he started this video by showing footage from the Disney Aladdin so people could start getting outraged at him for making such remarks about that movie. Only to reveal after what he's really reviewing. Why, thank you, Captain Explainy Pants. Well, that didn't ruin the joke at all. <laughs> so, are you guys ready for the review of Aladdin One Dollar? Yes, that's actually part of the movie's label. It's not a price sticker. You want to know what's even better than that? It's not what I had to pay for this. It was three for one dollar. So, yeah, I guess this is a piece of shit, but I got what I paid for! Eh. So, in case you were worried that this was happening anywhere remotely close to you, the opening text over some random cartoon footage assures us that these are tales from a faraway land. You know, that land where transferring that worn VHS collecting dust over in the corner to DVD is something worthy of an official release. And, you know, if I'd only paid 33 cents for this, I wouldn't be complaining. But I had to pay 34 cents for one of these, and this is the one I'm counting that as! So damn you, Aladdin! Damn you to 34 cent hell! So the full title of this is actually Aladdin and his Magic Lamp. Gee, I wonder if they didn't put the full title on the cover because they wanted you to think it was the Disney one. I really can't stand that kind of trickery. You see, Phyllis says he can't stand things like that when he himself did that very joke at the beginning of this very video. Explainy pants, you get the fuck out of here. Ha <laughs> you said fuck. I explain the joke so you don't have to! Fuck! Oh! This title just keeps getting longer by the second, and it better not be a thousand and one nights! Because I wouldn't very much care for that at all. Once upon a time, a powerful magician lived in Egypt. Wait, this just takes place in Egypt? I thought you said this was Tales from a Faraway Land movie. I mean, Egypt isn't close to me, but what if someone from Egypt is watching this? They'd be really confused where they lived right now. Don't tell me I'm being nitpicky. This is super serious for reals. I'm mad at you now, Aladdin. And his magic lamp. A tale of a thousand and one nights, whatever. Oh, hey, I didn't know Linkawa was in this movie. Eh, eh, eh. Master of the underworld, oh master who has given these great magical powers to me to change an owl into a dog, a dog into a cat, a cat into a rat. Okay, one, I'm pretty sure he knows which powers he's given you, buddy. And two, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Tell me where I can find the lamp of marvelous powers. I know the place where the lamp is hidden. I'll help you. Keep quiet, hoo-hoo. I've already started my call to the master of the underworld. If he finds out I could have just asked my owl, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. Do you hear me, oh master? 
that's the master of the underworld. Yeah, I doubt that abomination can see five feet in front of him, let alone where the lamp is. Master of the underworld, I see you now. Whoops, no, that was owl poop on the floor. Now I see you. Well, I don't see you, because as a twirly-eyed, fire-headed idiot in a ball, I can't see shit. But I guess I know where the lamp is. But I'm not telling it. No one but an innocent boy can find it. You must not be the one who touches it first. You would be struck dead. Oh, what a brilliant security system, Lamp. Might as well just print on yourself, kidnap a little boy to rub off the evil guy killing powder first. Well, I guess we can't just make it that evil people can never use the lamp ever because, you know, then we wouldn't have all this excitement and intrigue. I will obey, O oh Master. <laughs> this is a kid's film, Jack. Bert. B besides, how did you even suck off a floaty face in a ball? Wait, don't answer that! So despite the owl flying away earlier, he's suddenly back because, well, we've got to reuse animation from the beginning of this scene. And also, did the owl actually know where the lamp was or was he just saying that? I want to know. I shall become the master of the universe. We're going to be master of the universe. Oh, I always wondered who the masters of the universe were in He-Man. Now we know. <laughs> oh, that's just inappropriate. Are you going to move? <laughs> I forgot you need to be wound up again. Ah! What's with the giant soulless face children? Yeah, Jafart's shadow. That's what's scary in this scene. It was me, Uncle. Uncle? I don't have any sisters or brothers. Yes. So just because Giant Face Boy offhand refers to Discount Fire as Uncle, he realizes, oh yeah, I did need a little boy, didn't I? Well, I guess I'll just fucking say I'm his uncle and that'll work. Good thing his father never told anyone, including his wife, oh yeah, I don't have a brother, Jeff Farr. Thank you, Uncle. Mommy will be so happy. <laughs> Well, that's a 33 cent transition if I've ever seen one. Too bad I paid 34 cents for this. Yeah, I'm still mad. I'll never get over it. No one has it worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> to be or not to be? That is the question. Oh, the question! Wait, what the fuck happened to the owl? I was gonna call him Owl Ago and everything. <laughs> that would have been good. Well, now I guess I'll just have to call this random Shakespeare quoting bird annoying shit. Now will you stay with us forever? Oh, yes, stay with us! Now we have lots of gold, plenty of gold, plenty of gold! Oh, be quiet, Kenjan. Uncle's feelings will be hurt. Fortune. Could be a little less awkward. What else going on here? And henceforth it will be the joy of my life to take care of Aladdin. I could wish for nothing better. Hmm, strange man has shown up claiming to be my brother-in-law, which I have absolutely no proof of, and he wants my kid. Eh, fuck it, why not? Mother of the year! We will make our way all over the world. Oh, me too! <laughs> a small new world. A new, well, not that great point of view. When will we leave? Great day arrived. Oh, I guess that was just a fever dream or something, and after a jump cut that no joke has a single frame of bushes in it, we get your fart taking a land directly to where the lamp is despite ball flame twirly eyes never telling him where it was. So I guess he just knows now, cause Aladdin! It's so dark here. Don't be afraid. Well, when you put it that way, I just shit myself. Master appear. You have found the secret hiding place where the magic lamp is concealed. I'm sorry I keep fading out. You know, the magic reception isn't very good in this cave. The Cave of Wonders! Or should I say, Cave of Blunders? <laughs> uh, too bad unnamed drum character's been turned into poop by now. Yes, they ate him, and it was really painful. 
You must not enter the cave. So Aladdin is immediately with Discounty's lamp plan despite having just been told he's gonna travel the world? Or did he always assume that world travel involved talking to floating flame heads about where magic lamps were? See that slab? I want you to lift it up. Oh look, I'm magic too! I can teleport beside trap doors! I'm not strong enough! It's too heavy for me to lift. Oh yeah, maybe I should have made it a hole instead of creating a heavy as all fuck trapdoor, but then again, I'm stupid as shit. Take this ring. Holy fuck, honey, I shrunk the Aladdin. Put it on and then repeat your father's name three times in a row. Wow, that's a really random way to solve a problem you invented. Good work, Jafart. Wow, look at my silly looking perfectly level walking animation. Oh, Fuck, a dragon, maybe. How is a lad zone gonna deal with this? There you will see an altar. Oh, he'll just jump cut past it. Yeah, no. Makes it easy! But when there's actually two of these whatevers guarding the lamp, Aladdin can't just jump cut his way out of this one. Turn the rays of the ring toward them. So I guess it's a good thing Aladdin couldn't just open that trap door or else he'd be fucking dead right now. Hurry, return to me. <laughs> when did you fart turn into a Mr. Potato Head? I brought you the lamp, the magic lamp you wanted. <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me that lamp. <laughs> I don't want to seem suspicious or anything, but I sure do love bobbing my head up and down. <laughs> when I've got the lamp, I'll leave Aladdin locked in the cabin forever. <laughs> Yeah, you probably didn't need to say that out loud, Uncle, and you know, I can hear you from here. Well, fuck! <laughs> so, why does Discounty need to leave Aladdin trapped? Did he just not quite hit the evil quota for the day? Please, Lamp, save me. Oh, it burns! Actually, Discounty probably gives one of the best scared reactions ever. I know. Okay, these cuts I'm pretty sure are just due to substandard VHS ripping, as sometimes when the tracking gets really off, some rippers will just skip the bad section. And the wonderful people responsible for putting this thing together were too lazy to bother to even check it once before shipping out their piece of shit $1 DVD, which sadly enough was overreaching. 34 cents! So Aladdin wishes that the Ring Genie would teleport him home. Yes, the Ring Genie. Uh, oh. I took the liberty of changing your clothes too, cause I'm creepy as fuck. Discount Jafar already had an item with a genie in it? Why do you need the lamp? Where is your uncle? He locked me up in a cave. Pitch black. My poor little boy. It's almost like sending you off with a complete stranger was a bad idea or something. I might never have seen you again. In fact, I would have preferred that. Perhaps if I cleaned and polished it, we could sell it. <gasps> I have struck your mother dead. That's a free bonus wish. Wow, I have two genies now? How redundant. And really, this purple nightmare with the cold dead star eyes is the genie of the lamp, huh? And here I thought the genie was gonna be blue. And you know, I can't seem to recall Aladdin looking this way. What were they doing with this cover? Well... No. But no, but I was I, no, but, but but I was gonna. You're mean. Aladdin makes sure to think very carefully on what his first wish should be, and then makes it for food while we get a single frame of his mother's corpse on the ground, and then years later, apparently, Jafar is still doing the same scene from the beginning of the movie, cause you know, makes things easy. Aladdin is now a handsome young man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We do not need to know about your giant head fetishes, ball face. 
I'm amazed a lion can even walk around carrying that thing on his neck. It looks like he could just bite his mother's head right off. Oh, and yeah, I, I guess he eventually wished his mother back to life, you know, after he made sure to get his 50th Happy Meal. I'm off to the Orient. Wow, I can't even blame that jump cut on the shitty VHS transfer. I just don't know what that was. Anyway, we learned that Aladdin Town is run by a bunch of fuckasses as they announced when Jasmine, or whatever the shit she is in this, is taking a bath. On pain of death, no one must look into the streets, for Her Highness the Princess Badrul Bador is going to the bath this day. Cool story. You know, instead of threatening everyone, get a bath installed in the palace and shut the fuck up. Uh... Huh, motherfucking Aladdin? No one tells me not to look out the window. Mother, I have seen the princess passing by. Mother, do you think they'd be mad if I took my rubber ducky to go have a bath with Jasmine? You must not think of her. The punishment is death. Robert Ducky, you're the one. You make that time lots of fun. Ernie, you stupid sack of shit. <laughs> Mom's own comes to ask if Ernie can marry Princess Burt, but the Sultan is far too interested in the guy to his left to pay attention to the conversation, so it goes like this. He will do everything you command. <laughs> Sorry, that's the way the DVD crumbles. Or cuts, or something, I don't know. What a magnificent palace. It is far more splendid than my own. To have built such a palace in just one night, Aladdin must be a very remarkable young man. Yeah, either that or he's got two slave genies. Earn Aladdin, what an ass. Prince may be, no, probably not. He's pretty boring. So remember in the stupid ass Disney movie how Aladdin had to learn that being himself was the real way to win over the princess? Well, the 1970 Aladdin learns that it's all about the money and pop. Popularity. Yep, so this one's based more on real life. At last, after these years, I found him. <laughs> and I can still bob my head up and down. <laughs> Jafar gets the lamp and Iago almost stops him by spinning around in circles, but he somehow manages to get past that. Slave of the magic lamp, I command you to move this palace and its inhabitants to Egypt. I can't do shit with these lobster claws. Help me! I'm an abomination! That's your first wish, really? Moving a fucking palace that Aladdin made to Egypt? Some brains on you, Jafar. Just what the hell were you doing for the last 17 years anyway? Uh... Ah, of course. <laughs> The Sultan, being kinda pissed that his daughters disappeared along with that whole palace, has decided that Alain probably is top suspect here as it is a little strange to be able to build a palace in one night. But Alain says he'd do anything to find the love of his life again, unless it's, you know, real work. For four days I have been searching for you in vain. All I have to do is lift this slab, and I can bury myself in the bowels of the earth. Yes, Alain is really ready to give up and kill himself because it's taken four days of searching until he remembers he had a fucking backup genie the whole time! <laughs> I'm an idiot! Take me wherever the genie has taken the palace and my love. I will gladly do that, if you are not afraid. <laughs> I am here, my dearest. No. <laughs> Good response. No, 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 no. Your dream has come true. No. Ask him to show you the magic lamp. No. What did you say, dearest? Ah, of course, that Aladdin voice that came from behind me was you. I'm a fucking moron. And now it's time for the most epic animated battle of all time. Dry up, <laughs> Oh, oh, ah! <laughs> the genie asks Aladdin if he can have his freedom, but Aladdin says then he'd only have one genie instead of two, so none of that Disney sentimental bullshit this time. Aladdin, come here. I think I should punish you for your offenses. I sentence Aladdin to be married tomorrow morning. Oh, so the Sultan considers marrying his daughter a punishment. <laughs> they have such a good relationship. I will accept.
and the magic lamp was displayed in the place of honor. <laughs> Originally, this was a French film, so this is all Sad Panda and Benzai's fault because they are people I know from France, and everything from a different country that I know someone else from is their fault. The original runtime of this thing in French is actually 70 minutes, and obviously, it's available in better quality than this piece of shit that I own. You want to know how long my version runs for? 28 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna assume there are at least some cuts made to the English version along with the VHS skips, but just wow. Hey, it saved me some time, so who am I to complain? I'd never do that. Anyway, join me next time where I'll be reviewing The Fortunate Fawn. No, you better not review that next. I was gonna do that. What, really? <laughs> no, I was just yanking your chain. I, I just don't want you to review it. <laughs> Sounds really boring. But this kid has a pet fawn in it! <laughs> More like pet yawn! Doodly doobity doop doop doop! Cause yawn rhymes with fawn! Shut up! Actually, I don't care if you reviewed Aladdin first. <laughs> I'm still gonna do it on my cartoonly boobly show. No! You can't review Aladdin! Phyllis did it first! <laughs> well, no, uh, we're still in Phyllis' video for that movie, so he hasn't quite technically done it yet. No! Well, I guess you're right! Wait, McDickpick is someone else now? It was just you in a wig before. What the hell continuity is this? Dot dot dot! No, dot 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 you, Andrew. This Aladdin review really sucked, Phelis. I give it an F minus minus. 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 So, uh, let me give you an expert animated anarchy review of it. <clears throat> It stinks! Oh! I don't like this movie. It doesn't look too friendly. These monsters seem so fake. My nerves are gonna break. Phelous, don't let me down. You need to be around. Grab that running one up and blast that thing a new one. This movie looks shitty. Phalus, oh, Phalus, bring on Mortal Comedy, oh, Phalus, oh, Phalus, and some more horror movies, oh, Phalus, oh, Phalus, I don't care about how you sound, oh, Phalus, oh, Phalus, what's your opinion about? Hi guys, check out my Patreon for early mid-roll free episodes, meaning no ads will play in the middle, and other perks. I don't know. Oh no! I don't want to break my stupid one dollar DVD of Aladdin! Ah! I already did. Doodly doobly doop doop doop! <laughs> Cartoonly boobly doop doop show! I was kept in explainy pants and I will never show up again! Or will I? No. Ah!